process than that. Uh, I was only eating like 2,500 calories a day, so my normal coach class, 6,000, <laughs> through the season, keep my weight up. Uh, nothing crazy about it. Stop eating so much. How do you feel about it? Great. I feel good. The light, the light on my feet, I don't know what time I ran. We're going to pay from 4.6 to high 4.7, so we'll see. Where do you want to be? Somewhere in the 4.6 is for sure. I've only worked with so much. God only gave me so much, so. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to get as fast as I can and just do as, as best as I can out here, so. How'd you build the day with you? Uh, half and half. I feel like I did great out here. Didn't do so well inside. Uh, I mean, it was just kind of what we focused on in my training was being out here, running, running smooth, running fast. Uh, so, I mean, I guess it went about how I trained for it. Uh, so I'm not disappointed in any way. Well, like I said, I can only do so much. Like, I can't think so. Uh, I'm going to keep chasing this dream, and I'll see where it takes me. What's, what's it like to be in, in that moment now, knowing that? I'm glad fun. it's over. It's very stressful. You know, there's a lot of eyes on you. There's a lot of stuff you have to do, stay out of. And, you know, there's still a lot of stuff I need to do now. Get ready for rookie camp. You know, if I get drafted or picked up on draft a free agent, you got to be ready to go. So uh, work's not over. But I get some time to kind of rest my mind and not to think about what am I going to run in the 40, what am I going to jump in the rod, all this stuff. So now it's just about playing football, not mimicking football in drills, which is you know, fun to do that. Do you like lining up with those other 3D linemen that you've lined up with probably? Uh, 60 times. Uh, it was great. I mean, they're all three great athletes. I hope they all get a chance. I think they all will get a chance. Uh, you know, playing with those three, Sione, Brendan, and Tyler. Couldn't have asked for a better group of guys to play with uh, on Saturdays in here in Stillwater. So uh, it was an honor. I mean, it really was. It was nice to be back with those guys and be able to get some work in here. I know everybody you know, wants to prove something to Brendan the way season, get a chance to finish those last few games with you guys. Did you sense him sort of, not pushing, but really wanting to do what he could to show himself? Uh, I mean, everybody's out here doing everything they can. Uh, you know, everybody wants to be drafted. Everybody wants to hear their name called on draft night. Uh, but, you know, he's, he's, I think he was happy to be back, you know, in Stillwater and being able to run and, you know, not being a sling. You know, Tyler, too, he messed his foot up. Uh, and I'm sure they're both glad to be back. I mean, they haven't talked much about it, but, you know, they've got smiles on their faces, so I think they have to be here and help you. You were going to be like when uh, you get that chance with, uh, with an NFL team. It's not going to change anything about me. Uh, you know, I've worked my ass off from the start ever since I got to Oklahoma State. Uh, you know, I've made a career out of being a tough guy, and I take pride in being a tough guy. Uh, so if I can just continue you know, practice and play to the best of my ability and be the tough guy on the field, then I'm going to be just fine. And if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. But I'm going to do everything in my power to make it work out. Is it crazy to think about? I mean, just you know, growing up in Oolaga and uh, you know now here and potentially on another team. Yeah, it is crazy to think about. Uh, there's what maybe 0.001 percent of the world where the United States population gets a shot at this, and you know, be able to say that I'm right there with the door cracked. Uh, and I just have to kick it through. So it's going to be an exciting next couple months. We'll see where it goes. You went through a lot of different drills, on-field drills, how important is it for a guy of your, your body type to kind of be diverse in, in what you went through? Uh, in my opinion, I, you know, I'm not a coach, I'm not a GM, whatever, but I mean, I think it's more important to be able to look good on drills on the field and bend and run than it is, you know, to put up, you know, 40 on bench, you know, some of it, you know, if guys can do that and come out here and it looks exactly what it looked like in there, great, but, you know, some guys don't do so good in there and they look great out here and some guys look not so good in there or out here and they look great in there so it's just you know who it is For me personally i think it's better to look better or it's better to look good on the field than it is you know in the weight room you went through some like linebacker drills too it seems that kind of something you've been hearing to, to maybe get a little used to that i mean my, might as well just know everything you know if, if i can if, in all reality if i can make a 53-man roster and i can play outside backer true dn and maybe an inside backer that's three positions that gms and coaches don't have to worry about filling because i can go play special teams and be the third string guy for outside backer, maybe the second string the end and the second string backer, and I can play all three positions. And that's more roster room for those guys so they can bring other guys and maybe other positions at their weekend or looking to maybe add another guy. So why not know everything?
how important is it to have that mindset? Because, I mean, you've been, you know, the guy here for so long, and now you're going to jump at the, at the bottom of a food chain in the NFL. Can I, how important is it to have the mindset of, hey, i got to be diverse, i got to be flexible, i got to do whatever they want me to do? I mean, I'm going to work my ass off to try to be the, the guy there too, but, uh, you know, get in where you fit in. I mean, mm -hmm. if you're going to be a special teams guy and you know you're going to be a special teams guy, go be a special teams guy and be the best special teams guy in, in the NFL. Uh, if you're going to be a backup outside linebacker, go be the best backup outside linebacker in the league. You know, it's all about being the best at what you can be, what you're given. I mean, if coaches go, you know, we really like you, not really sure if we're going to sign you on to the 53 man, you go to the practice squad, make them sign to the 53 man for being on the practice squad. I mean, go just work your ass off, kick some ass, and maybe get signed to the 53 man or trade to another team because you're so valuable on the practice squad. This has nothing to do with today, but what kind of a linebacker is Colin Hollis going to be for this team? You can ask him. I haven't been here. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> Why are your hands clean, huh? Mm -hmm. <clears throat>